All right, next up is optical flow. I'm getting so, hungry. Um, <laughs> you're getting hungry? <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Okay. Uh, For those optical of you flow. out there. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the objects in the CVJIT library is this thing called CVJIT LK flow. Um, LK flow stand, is an algorithm. Um, it stands for uh, Lucas Kanade. So Takeo Kanade is a, a researcher at uh, Carnegie Mellon University, and his student, uh, I can't remember his first name, Lucas, something Lucas. Um, they wrote this algorithm called Optical Flow, and it is actually the algorithm, LK Optical Flow is the same algorithm that's in all of our optical mice. So uh, back in the day, before mm -hmm. LK flow, your mouse had a ball in it. I remember. remember the ball? And it would get kind of like, it would get all dusty. Jacked up. Yeah, and you had to like take it out every once in a while and like clean your mouse ball. Um, it's right there with landlines. With what? Landlines. Landlines. I still have a landline. Um, so yeah, that was an annoyance. And then uh, they, then these optical mice started coming out. So what an optical mouse actually does, it looks has a little camera, a little black and white video camera that, I don't know how many frames per second, like a couple hundred frames per second, very low resolution, but high frame rate, looks straight down at whatever the object your, uh, you know, your mouse is sitting on, usually a mouse pad or something, but there's some texture there that it can see. So it's taking that black and white image, running it through this LK flow algorithm, and it can tell you, and, it, and LK flow will calculate the optical flow in that image. Is, the, is it moving left, right, up, or down? Mm -hmm. And that, uh, when you analyze it, send it through optical flow, you can tell whether the scene is moving up and down. So this CVJIT is an implementation in Max of LK flow. Um, and you just open your camera and turn it on. And then there's some processing that has to be done uh, so LK flow outputs this matrix. I think it's a two channel matrix. I don't, let's see, hold on. Um, d dimensions 160 by 90, that's my camera. Uh, planes, oh, two planes, okay. So LK flow outputs a two plane matrix, which is weird. So then you have to unpack it and then you can turn it into the up portion, the down portion, the left portion and the right portion. Mm -hmm. So um, based on how I move, uh, these different, these four different scene, uh, scenes will brighten up. So here the right, the right one will only show me when I'm moving right. It won't, I'll be invisible when I'm moving left, but visible when I'm moving right. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. Pretty strange. Um, same with up, left, and down. And then um, by doing a little jit.3m to find the, the mean value in each of these four, uh, you'll get these bars. And the bars go up and down based on whether you're moving up and down, and then it, this thing just picks which one is the, the the biggest one and will spit out the word up, down, left, or right. So if I move left, it says left. If I move right, it says right. And then up, down sort of work too. It's a lot, the camera in my office is bad because I have this backlighting. Light. It's, it's really, the light is really annoying. But um, if you had a better lighting and a, and a camera that wasn't on, constantly hunting for different exposure values, it would, it would work better. Um, I'm wondering if I mess it up when I come in. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's terrible. The lighting is awful. So, um, but even then, it still kind of works. Um, if you had more controlled lighting, it would work a lot better. But um, this is uh, uh, all kinds of stuff you can do just by knowing what direction stuff is moving in the scene. It's surprisingly useful. I've used it in a bunch great. of projects. Yeah. All right. Onward.